morning, folks. Well, just got off work. It's time to head to the house. Get a little bit of cultivating done. Stake some tomatoes today. Y'all come on. Let's go. Good morning, y'all. Officially, welcome to the W. As you can see, we just got done cultivating everything, and tomatoes are looking pretty good. Uh, I don't necessarily need to stake them right now, but we're going to go through here, and we're going to stake the ones that need it. And then we're going to take a look at what happened to the green beans over there. So, y'all come on. Let's stake tomatoes. And look at everything.
these right here definitely need to be staked. I've never grown these. I'm going to tie it up right there. I think all of these tomatoes are going to need staking. Now y'all, I'm going to go through and I'm going to put stakes beside all these first. And then, I'm going to come back and tie them up. I'm going to go ahead and finish staking out this row for sure. I wish I could remember the name of these tomatoes real quick. San Marano. How many more steaks I need? One, two for this row. And then we're going to come down that row and stake a few. Ow. Let's tie some tomatoes. little trick you're doing a whole lot of tying just wrap you some string around your hand You know, the reason I'm doing it like this is 
I can always come back, tighten the string up now, keep pulling it on up the, the uh, stake. Now you're pretty much hands free and your string stays right there. I'll just give y'all a better idea of what I'm doing. I'm tying everything right there. Up top. Down here at the bottom. All I'm doing is making a little loop. You see it's not tight. It's not tight at all. It's loose. So it's not cutting off any nutrients. Same over here. And then it just runs up and ties right at the top. Well, as y'all can see, all the stakes is up for the tomatoes now. And not all tomatoes are staked up. Um, only the ones that need staking up has gotten staked up. The rest of them, they'll get staked up as needed. I also went ahead and I took some fertilizer from the red bucket right there. and Side dressed everything. Excuse me for y'all, it's hot. Then I took some gypsum and put around everything. I put a handful around each plant. Because uh, I was watching old Andy from True Grit. And he said he dealt with blossom end rot for a long time. And I've dealt with it for a long time. And I never knew how to fix it until he mentioned gypsum. He put a handful around each plant. He said it works great. So that's what I've done. I've put a handful around each plant and hopefully it's going to work. Uh, I also put it around all my pepper plants. So now we wait. Uh, I will water everything in probably tomorrow. Uh, I just watered everything yesterday really good. And I'm trying not to get too much water, if that's such a thing. But the ground looks really good right now. Uh, that's why I don't want to give it any tonight. Now, as far as the green beans go, y'all, we planted three rows of green beans. And these rows right here are anywhere between 135 and 145 foot long. We planted three rows of that. We had three plants come up. I think I know why. About a week afterwards, uh, I went out there and I saw uh, all the rain that we didn't got, and it then started to worry me. And so I checked on the seed. The seed was mushy. It had absorbed all the water. And rotted. So now we're gonna have to replant. But I'm waiting on a seed plate from eBay for my planter that we got, so I can plant green beans again. Uh, I've already went and planted pink-eyed purple hull peas, and y'all will see that video coming up soon. And uh, Daisy. That's enough. But y'all see that coming up soon. And yeah. That's about it. So that's gonna be it for this one. It's hot. We're gonna get off here and go get some supper. So till next time.
I appreciate you joining me. Please subscribe. And remember, normal's not coming back no more. No matter how much we want it to. But Jesus is coming back. So y'all get ready for it. We'll catch y'all on the next one.